So in this subboard review, we're going to be having a look at the RRD Avant 30% carbon paddle. Now, this is definitely a paddle that's going to really tick the box for the good all-round intermediate base paddler. You could get into paddle boarding with this paddle, but it's probably a paddle that you're upgrading up from your sort of basic aluminium three-piece paddle. Still has an adjustable top section on it, so it will suit a wide range of riders, and it'll suit somebody who's finding their way on the sport and finding if they want to get into racing or surfing or touring because you have got that adjustable side to the paddle too to get the most out of the different paddle heights. So let's have a look at this paddle in a bit more detail. This is the two-piece version with the adjustable top section. You can also get it as a three-piece version as well, so it could easily go in an inflatable board bag. This one weighs at 650 grams, and it has an adjustment height of 174 centimeters to 220 centimeters. And it retails at 248 euros, which is about 220 pounds at the current market. It has a 29 millimeter diameter shaft and a 9 95 square inch size blade and it's got a two pin block style system adjustment system at the top here which clips in and out and it's got a channel groove going down the top of the shaft which then makes make sure the handle doesn't twist or move at all when it's locked off in position so what they mean by the 30% here is the blade is 30% carbon and a mixture of obviously glass. The actual shaft is glass fiber. So actually the blade is the carbon part here. That's where the 30% kicks in. That really what makes the, the big amount of weight difference because obviously if you have a lighter blade to your paddle, when you're swinging it back round before you put it in the water, that is what the weight difference makes. So if you have a glass blade on the paddle, that's really what makes the paddle feel heavier. So if you can get the carbon in the blade itself that brings the weight of the paddle down in general and makes the paddle feel lighter when you're paddling. So moving on to our thoughts of the RRD Avant 30% adjustable paddle. Well first of all as always RRD stuff looks really cool and this paddle definitely doesn't disappoint. Really cool colorways with the orange and you can see the carbon coming through the back of the orange there, striped pattern. Smart all the way up the shaft, nice to have some sort of graphics and styling right up the shaft too. A lot of brands don't really do that, they tend to stay away from putting graphics on the shaft but it does look really smart. And also you can actually feel these graphics in your hand when you're paddling, so when you're placing your bottom hand on the paddle shaft you can give a bit of extra grip, which really does make a difference if you're trying to put a bit more power down on the paddle. I actually sometimes wax my paddles to give myself a bit more grip but I don't have to with this one at all because this does add a little bit more grip too so that's nice to have as I said with the adjustable system this system with the groove in the top section here is fantastic very simple lock system but it doesn't move at all in the slightest I've been using this a lot in the surf cruising touring but yeah I do like it in the surf because it's so easy to adjust and you can just slip it down and for me when I'm surfing I can bring it down to this height so actually it's absolutely fine for if you want to experiment with having a shorter paddle if you want to go surfing. So that system is really neat and it, as I said, it doesn't slip at all. As far as the stiffness of the paddle is concerned, because this is just a glass shaft, it should be quite flexible. Definitely for the weight of the paddle and being a glass shaft, the paddle is actually very stiff and much stiffer than other glass shafts on the market. Now when it comes to glass paddles, generally I will stay away from them in using them in the surf because they do tend to flex a fair bit. But this one is absolutely fine and it maybe flexes a slight amount, but definitely nothing that would hinder the performance of the surfing. Definitely helps having the paddle at the lower extension there so most of the top section is in the bottom section which is going to give you way more stiffness so definitely if you're a rider of the six foot sort of size you will find the paddle will flex more than if you're a rider of the sort of five foot height. The blade design is fairly simple and subtle but it works really well. A nice raised center here coming down and splits off. The V really holds the paddle in the water well when you're pulling back the stroke. It's very stable to use in the water and it doesn't sort of strike or feather around at all. So you don't end up hitting the side of your board, which is what happens when you do with, you have a more of a flatter bottom section to a paddle, a paddle with less of a shape in the lower section. Top racers might find it's not the fastest of paddles in and out of the water because of this V, but generally for all round paddling and surfing, it really is a comfortable paddle to use and you haven't got to think about your paddle stroke too much when you're using it. And also the thickness of the blade here is really nice. Personally, I don't tend to like too thick a paddle blades because they tend to feel very boggy and slow putting in and out of the water. This one goes in and out and releases really easily and that's due to the thickness of the blade. So that gets a real thumbs up from us. 
Now, I already say this is more of a touring cruising paddle than a surf paddle. 100% agree, it's fantastic for touring. Definitely also having that height things when you're punching into wind, you might wanna lower your handle, make the paddle slightly shorter. So yes, touring, but at the same time, it's very nice in the waves too. As I said before, very stable, and the stiffness of the shaft is really good. So I would give it better marks than RID, say, for the waves as well. So if you're thinking about that. So who do we think the RLD Avant paddle will best suit? Well, weight-wise, probably 65 to 110 kilos. If you were at the 60 kilo point, probably better off looking at a slightly smaller blade that will let load your shoulders up a bit less. Height-wise, uh, well, you can use it from sort of five foot high up to about 6'2". I think if you're about 6'2", that's about the top. Any longer than that, you're gonna be having the paddle out at a bit more of its full extension. So pros and cons and value for money. Well, pros, the paddle shape itself and for what you get with the carbon content, it feels really nice to paddle and easy to use in the water. Very stable and a great blade shape and a nice size for the all-round paddlers. Cons, it does fill up a little bit with water if using it in the surf environment. So maybe that's why RID won't recommend it so much for the surf, but I did find it very easy just to pop the clip, undo it, empty the water out, and then carry on going. So yeah, that's my only slight con on that one. It does fill up a little bit water, but then if RID are recommending it more for the touring aspect, it's not gonna be a problem. Just surfing when you're falling off all the time, you do get a bit more water in it. Now, another thing to be aware of, it's not a downside, but we've really got to mention it, is if you've got smaller hands, this handle is really well shaped, but it's a little bit bigger than other handles in the market. So definitely, if you're looking at this paddle and you're a smaller hand person, get yourself to a shop, get your hands on the top of the paddle and see if it's okay for you. I personally find it great. It really offers a large amount of grip. Somebody with a smaller hand might want a slightly smaller handle. And value for money, well, at 248 euros, it definitely is a top end price point but it is from a top-end brand. RID are really well known for making good quality equipment and we've been very impressed with their 2018-19 equipment that we've seen. So it is a top-end price point, but if you are into RID and you want a good quality adjustable paddle that really feels more than a 30% carbon paddle, then this paddle should be a paddle you could look at. So I hope you found that SOP review interesting and informative and it's given you some information to find out if the RRD Avant 30% carbon paddle is for you. Remember, if you want loads more information on SUP, videos, techniques, reviews, all sorts of stuff, check out SUP Border Mag. But until next time, we'll see you on SUP Border or on YouTube. Thanks a lot.